Nearly a week after Attorney General Ken Paxton was acquitted in his historic impeachment trial, he says he's getting back to work in that office. But Republican state leaders are still fighting over how the whole impeachment unfolded. In an op-ed for the Beaumont Enterprise, House Speaker Dave Phelan defended the House's process. He says that he's still proud of that chamber's decision, writing, quote, we didn't vote to impeach because we wanted to punish our state's top attorney, but rather to open the door to a fair and thorough discussion of the evidence before determining whether Paxton abused his office to a degree so extreme that makes him unfit for office. I stand by that vote. He went on to criticize the trial and its presiding judge, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, writing, I believed the Senate and its presiding officer would be so overwhelmed by Paxton's repeated and apparent abuses of office that they would agree he should no longer serve as our state's top cop. Imagine my disappointment when it became clear the Senate would allow politics to prevail over principles." End quote. Now, it's no secret that Phelan has a rocky relationship with both A.G. Paxton and Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. In response to that op-ed tonight, the Lieutenant Governor wrote on social media, quote, For Dade Phelan to cry foul and question the integrity of the Senate jurors and of my office when his rushed, no facts, no record process failed to achieve the results he wanted is disgusting and proves he is unworthy of his leadership position, end quote. Earlier this week, the lieutenant governor requested a formal audit to find out just how much taxpayer money was spent on the impeachment process.